All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is just a real quick post up. Um, it's been a while. I had the Akai MPD for a while now. Um, I just got around the uh, upgrading the pads from MPD uh, MPC stuff. Excuse me. Dot com. Um, these are the original pads. These are the thin pads. You can kind of see some of the difference. Uh, anybody who has any of these models, whether it's the MPD 18, the 24, or even the new 26, knows that the thickness of the pads in the field is really a problem. Now, I got it running with Ableton the car version. Now, I didn't fully reinstall everything here. Uh, there's a lot of screws that you have to take out even when you take the case off which I don't want to do right now because I got it plugged in. Um, you have to take a ground wire off on the inside. You have to take basically all the outer screws here off and you have to take the actual motherboard screws off of the pad sensors or the, the MPD motherboard. Now, you know, if you don't have any experience installing stuff with a computer, or you know, it may not be the easiest thing to do, but it's definitely worth it just with the feel compared to the factory pads that you get with the. Uh, MPD is just like no comparison. Um, I actually just kind of got away from using the MPD for a long time just because I was just frustrated with the way the pads feel. Now, if you notice, I'm getting a little latency, but that's just because I'm using just my laptop's built in sound card, I'm not using you know my music production sound cards. But I just gotta say, in terms of feel and sensitivity, it's definitely much better. So, give a shout out to MPD, MPC stuff, but well, they sell MPD stuff too. Um, there's a lot of, you know, coverage. I guess the new MPC uh, line is getting the renaissance and everything, and everybody's real excited about that. And I'm definitely looking forward to that too. Uh, but for now, you know, I still got the MPD. I still rock out with my 1000 so you know it's just what it is but um I definitely definitely notice an improvement with the upgraded pads and you anybody who knows this isn't just the camera you know there's a, a difference in thickness just with the new pads because the regular NPC pads you know barely the MPD pads for all of the models basically the MPD 24, 26, 18 I mean they barely stick out the case you know, now they look like real MPC pads so I definitely think I'll probably be giving my um, MPD a lot more use Uh, I still have to screw everything back in. Oh, just one more thing. There's four little washer screws or washers that you also have to take off before you could even start to push out the MPD. Um, if you notice now, I will just kind of give a preview, even though it's probably a bad idea. I hope I don't get the shock. But yeah, you have to take the case off take a grounding wire motherboard screw and you have to unscrew the motherboard which I actually started screwing back in so there's not that many videos on how to uh, take apart the MPD so I figured I'll just keep one posted of course there's a uh, connecting uh, electrical wire and board wire to the bottom end of the case where you plug the you, 
the USB in it. Obviously, you don't want to rip any of that out, or your MPD probably just won't work anymore. So, I've been kind of lucky or fortunate. I mean, I haven't, you know, ruined any of my equipment yet. <laughs> thank, you know, thank goodness. Um, you know, I've taken apart my MPC and. You know, but so far so good. Just whatever you're taking, you obviously should be electrically grounded. I know if I post this up, I'll probably get all kind of. You should be grounded and uh, that. Yes, I know. No doubt, 100%. But you know, since I'm really just working off of battery power and my laptop's only running off of battery power, I don't know if that really makes that much of a difference. But you know, it's not like it's plugged in directly into the electrical wall socket so anyway um this posting this up once again big shout to um npcstuff.com and you know follow any and all precautions when installing um hardware or messing with hardware or anything electrical and that's it peace